and I worked with Amy Simons, and she just loved the cricket, and um, she got the parent club to get three more, so we have four crickets there, and the kids are just going going along with it. I mean, it started off, like you said, with the flags. And they had to be taught how to cut out a piece of paper. Um, and then um, I, I buy this, uh, it's like a faux leather mm-hmm. at uh, Joann's. And um, so they were making bracelets and then they got the, uh, they got the, the stuff for the, the mugs. And some kids made bookmarks and it, it's, they started selling last week, oh, really? and they sold out. So they had to, their kids were like in the maker space, just going to town, making more stuff because they had orders they had to fill. It was fun. That's a they're, they're uh, buying a net for the Gaga Pit at the school, and um, they're also going to use money. Uh, as a sixth grade graduating class, they always buy a gift. For the school, and what's a so, gaga pit? Yeah, I don't know so, what it is. A, I'm a, sorry. A nut. Oh, you don't know a gaga pit? No. It's they kick around a ball inside of a structure. That's so the ball always goes out of the structure, of course, and then it'll go down the bank into the water, and so now they're going to have. Uh, some kind of a screen around it, a net, a net of some oh, sort. Okay, got it. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. Such ownership. That's awesome. Um, it much, is. How much product did they end up with? Building capacity, well, building a couple people. The world is really changing. The schools are changing fast. Um, you know, the the kids want to make, and it it. I think that they need to go back to knowing how to be self-sufficient and to be able to create with their hands what they need, even if they have a machine like a 3D printer or a Cricut or uh, whatever, but they need to know how to do it themselves now. And I think that same thing goes with cooking and baking and in the whole maker movement. Mm-hmm. Um, it brings on a lot of conversation too. Um, what type of I mean, making is is explosive. What did you it, mean when you said it brings on conversation too? Well, like right now, this week and last week, we were at Barnard in an in between time where I wasn't really. I was just finishing up some stuff. So I said, you can choose what you want to do. And um, I gave them a bunch of cardboard and uh, other things to just make with. And before you know it, you got these groups of people talking about, well, we're making this car and then somebody else is going to make the garage for the car. And they have gone, they're so excited and you just hear them talking about it. They're talking about the projects they're making. Right. And <coughs> a lot of times in school, kids talk during a lesson, and it's not about the lesson. And when they're making, it seems like that's what the conversation is about, mm-hmm. how they're going to put it together, how they're going to make the um, – on their garage, they have um, a door – that they're figuring out how to bring up and down. Um, and I didn't teach them that. I just gave them a few tools and uh, they go to town. 